What's up guys and welcome back to LEGO World. Today's a very special episode because it is the very first update of the game, update number one. We've been waiting so long for this past the delays and everything, so I'm really excited to give it a go here. <laughs> okay, so I already have a world picked out, so we might as well just hop in and go. All right, we're falling, oh boy. So there's supposed to be so many new creatures, playable characters, and most importantly, cave systems added to this game. So I'm excited to get started. <laughs> It'll be really cool if we could find a cave right off the bat, but I did want to ask you guys while we are looking, if you have LEGO Worlds and you've been playing the new update, since there are so many new additions from what everybody is saying, let me know what cool things you have found. I would love to know in the comment section below like, what, like some of the crazy stuff you may have found in your new update adventures, because there definitely seems to be a ton of stuff willing to look for. Okay. Looks like we have a cave over there, so let's make our ever so long run over there. And the cave systems are supposed to be really cool. There's supposed to be a whole bunch of cool stuff in them. Oh, this totally is a cave system. All right, what's going on? Oh, this is spooky too. So before the games didn't have anything underground, so it's really cool to see that this is leading somewhere. It's sort of spooky too. Whoa, who are you? It's like a bull man. I'm gonna beat you up. Come on, let's fight. Take this, bull man. What the heck is this dude? This is crazy. Who are you? The Minotaur. And it even tells you on the screen now. That is awesome. Hey, let's go check him out right now. He is over here. 1,250 ain't bet. He's so cool looking. And we got some chests down. This is like some big adventure. I love this. This is so cool. Oh, and the hearts are like a little, a whole bunch of little things are different, including the hearts. The heart system is a little different. And now we're sort of becoming more underground. You can see some of the uh, light rocks. Is this the end of the cave? Oh, looks like it is, unfortunately. Oh, wait, maybe it's gone. Wait, what's down here? Oh, no, wait, uh-oh. <laughs> I guess it is. We can see some stalagmites and stalactites. The difference of the word meaning that if it's inside or outside, I guess, or not inside or outside, but on the bottom or on the top, we can see outside here. This is a little glitchy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> I think it's glitching through the world there. So there's our first cave done. We already found a few new things, including a minotaur. How awesome is that? Okay then. So let's head on out. Of course, we will also be looking for some other stuff as well, including new animals and the such. Um, also, I did sort of play off screen a bit. We ran into the farmer and we also ran into the, um, what's it called? Oh, there's another minotaur. Okay, did they just run around all over the place now? Oh, he wants to fight me still. You want to fight, buddy? Wow. <laughs> I thought the Minotaurs had four legs and arms, but <laughs> okay. But we also found um, we found a Minotaur and we also found a tractor. This is a research institute chemist. What a large name, but it seems pretty fitting to me. Okay then, and I don't even know, there might even be new biomes in this one. I'm not really sure. Not only that, but they did add a number of different features when it comes to the runnability of the game. There should be a windowed mode, there should be just different modes that make the game run a little bit smoother. Hopefully this Minotaur doesn't attack me, seeing how I'm his friend. I'm also a fellow Minotaur. Oh, is he coming for me? I think he is. Let's get out of here. Um, what was that over here? Oh, that's a falcon. Of course, something we've seen before along with a sheep, but you know what? Let's hop on. Our falcon friend here, our eagle friend. I always call him a falcon. I'm sorry, my friend, because <laughs> I call you by the wrong name, yet I still call you my friend. All right, let's um bring him other places, though. Let's see what other cool things we can find in the distance. Maybe new cave systems. That's what I'm really excited about, because there has to be some new stuff in there. But I'm just so excited that we're playing as a minotaur. It's just a really cool thing. Next, hopefully, we'll find some zebras or something. That'd be cool. Hmm. There was an opening here as if there was a cave, but then it disappeared. So I have a feeling, what happens if we dig there? What happens if we dig in this area over here and see if we can't find ourselves a cave system? I'm not really sad there's a skeleton in the ground. <laughs> oh, it looks like there might have been something down there. Okay, let's um do this. And then we're gonna, ah, ouch. <laughs> okay, there doesn't actually seem to be anything here. Hmm, okay, a bit of a bummer, but that's all right. I understand, not everything can go our way, hmm. So there's this Minotaur. Yeah, the Minotaurs are everywhere. That's not just a cave exclusive thing. It was just cool that we happened to find him in the cave. A warlock we have found many times before. We're also finding different pieces of foliage and stuff. Hmm. Oh, and there's a dragon. Okay, we're finding a lot of cool stuff, but not new stuff, which is a bad thing. <laughs> Hello, fellow. Don't attack me. I'm your brother. Whoa, this, this ter terrain generation is actually really cool looking. This might be the coolest looking biome I've ever seen. Oh boy, whoa, this really is nuts. It's it's weird, it's like 
crazy how it's generating this. There's just these huge caves and, well not caves, mountains and canyons. Hopefully that means we'll find a cave like this one right over here. Let's see, if I can find some type of cool animal or creature. The creatures are always my favorite thing to unlock in this game. So that's why I'm always excited to unlock them. Um, hmm. What's going on in here? Not too much to be honest. Yeah, it's just popping out this side. Oh boy, there's this lava. How do I get to the other side? Um, maybe I can pull up a vehicle of some sort to get myself to the other side? Uh, or maybe I could get, I don't know what I'm gonna do about this. Uh, you know what, let me build my way across. Why do I have to worry about flying across when I can build my way across like this? There you go. Um, I might wanna also remove, this might be a little tough at this angle. <laughs> oh boy, yeah, this is a little tough indeed. Um, how am I doing this? Angles work with me. They, it feels like they did improve the camera, but it still just needs improving. Okay, let's see, is that any better now? Oh, I can't find myself. Where did I go? I'm stuck. No, <laughs> this cave didn't work out for us, so I guess we should probably never mind it. Um, Let's skydive if stuck. There we go. So let's go. I wanted to try to let out the clouds there. It didn't quite work for me. So let's, uh, it looks like we just gotta keep hopping on our plane until we find a more suitable cave. But it looks like the cave was ending over here, so I don't know if there was anything else there, to be honest. This is such an amazing generation of terrain, though. It's fantastic. I did show the, uh, oh no, I didn't want that. <laughs> oh god, I can randomize, I forgot I could do that. <laughs> we'll start doing that eventually. I figure once we run out of costumes to try each episode, we'll just start randomizing each time and that'll be funny. Let's go back, Wh who were you playing as? We were playing, oh no, I already forget. <laughs> this poor Minotaur, he's just swimming in the water. They have nowhere to go, the lava's over here. There's so many of them spawning in the water, that's crazy. Bunch of skeletons are all just trying to chase me. Even if they have to swim across an ocean, they're gonna chase me down to get me. I didn't realize they don't like me that much. I'm never trying to be a mean guy. Jeez. <laughs> All right, hmm. This is, once again, I wanted to say, like, it's it's very sort of glitchy, but not in a bad way. It looks so cool. But it's also just very interesting how it's clashing now. It of course, didn't happen before, and it looks like they're just making it more available to go a little nuts here. It's really crazy, because you can see some of the biomes sort of clash a bit. You're seeing some lava in the sand. Huh, okay cool, there's so many camels. It's camel land. <laughs> so, oh my, oh my gosh, they're really, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like there's so many. Whoa, what in the world is that? What are you? What is this? It, uh, Bernard, what is a Bernard? What? I'm so good. Whoa, okay, Bernard is awesome. Oh, he gets scared when you use him. Oh, what? I am so confused. Let's check out Bernard. 10,000, okay. <laughs> 10,000 it is. What the heck is this thing? This is the craziest thing in the game. <laughs> Bernard. That is awesome, but also really, really odd. All right then, so we can go into the cave here with Bernard. Not the cave, but the, uh, <laughs> whatever this is. It's the uh, pyramid. I am flabbergasted at the moment. I'm a little speechless if you haven't noticed, and that's rare for me. <laughs> I'm always talking. Man, wh what is this? Is, this? is this what I hear that are called mixels? I think that's what this is, but that's just awesome. It's fabulous. <laughs> okay, there's a surfer girl. We found her plenty of times. He's so fast, too. This is insane. I'm just like, yep, ba da ba da ba da ba do. <laughs> All right, then. I can quickly show you guys some of the other stuff I have found, though, because we have also found a farmer. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That's not what I want. We've also found a farmer, and we have also found, if we go into the vehicles here, we've also found a tractor. Not, you know, not the biggest deal of stuff, but I just figured I'd show it to you. Like I said, I found those things off screen, so. Ooh, <laughs> there's more of them. All right, but I do need a flying creature if I want to keep continuing on. I'm just so confused. What the? <laughs> What's up, Bernard? <laughs> All right, let me find an airplane and then we'll continue on. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What's, uh, is this a cave? This almost is a cave. Darn it. <laughs> Ooh, we found some, this a canyon. If this is a canyon, then what is that place we always find cowboys and stuff in? Because that's not a desert. Is that just, you know, I don't know. <laughs> is it Texas? <laughs> Was there our Texas biome before? I'm not sure. I'm confused. Oh, we found a little outhouse. There's nothing in here. But now it is the Minotaur's. Minotaur and his outhouse. It's mine. I own it. <laughs> okay. Wow. Okay. This is cool. 
I love how it'll display the text on the screen now. So if we do find something new to find, you know, I'll say, hey, this is what you found, and wow, this is nearly like Dragon Ball. I love it. I just, it reminds me of Dragon Ball's canyons. There's a lot of interesting things going on in this canyon. Seem to have more houses, sort of these little <laughs> distanced houses with little uh, stakes on them. They're sort of like tree houses. Oh, this one's cool. This one's really cool looking. It's hard to get in there, though. I don't know if we fit <laughs> with a big old minotaur head. Okay, then. Just so many new things. We have found a brand new biome. And we have found a few new things, such as a brand new animal creature, I guess you could call it, Bernard. <laughs> and we have found a minotaur and the wonderful cave system. I think that there's a lot of cool things ahead of us in the next few episodes, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's episode, make sure you give it a like, share it with your friends and family, and comment in the comment section below. What do you think about today's episode? If you've watched at this point in the video, make sure you comment new stuff so that I know you've watched to the end that you're a zebra-tastic viewer. But either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.